the boys are the easiest. I usually do them in like steps. Like I'll bring water and pellets. And then finally I'll bring the hay for the night. So they're eating like if, the, if this would be the end of the world. And by now I really don't have to go in. Hi, dookie, dookie, dook. Hello, Tasmanian devil. You are a little boy. Hi, little boy. No, yeah, that's my fairy tattoo. Hi, Tasmanian devil. Hello, 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 Tasmanian devil. Dom was going through something and he was being super skittish. Um, oh, I'm so jealous. But now he's back into his sweet era. Uh, it just took him a couple of months to get over it. Goodness gracious. And as you can see, sometimes I have to go in and feed him separately because um, Clyde is being mean to him. Let's do that. I usually have two feeders. The one time I forget the other one just being a pain. But nobody goes hungry here, huh? I'm sorry, that you're scared of Clyde. I'm so sorry. It's alright. You're a good boy. Not you, Taz. Stop. I don't like when they're bullying my boy. You just tell him, okay, that you're not three years old, but you will be one day. You tell him that. Okay, Tass, leave it. You tell him that, okay, Cielo? Okay, love. I don't want him to intimidate you. You just don't let him. You find him. You're a very strong boy. And you have a pretty color that Mama gave you. Look, guys, he has a pretty color. Out, Clyde. Out. Out, sir. Come on. I didn't bring it. I'm sorry. He comes and wants to eat with you. You be nice to him, okay? You be nice to my little rock. He's a good man. And this is usually what happens. Um, they want to eat together. They will come back and forth, even cry. And see? But then Dom knows he can go back to the feeder. It's a game. Come here, Dom Dom. Come here, Cielo. Mama won't let him be mean to you. You eat, boy. Duke, stop scaring him. You, you, boy, dumb, dumb. And usually that's what I do. I'll put a feeder over here and a feeder on that corner over there. Hi, Duke. Can you not step on the Thanks. And I forgot it. And he's going to eat it. It's just a little bit that I put over here for him. Yes, sir. You're my very beautiful boy. I won't let him boy you, cielo. No, sir. Okay, the sun is going down. Still over there. Look at you being a handsome boy. Mm -hmm. You're my handsome boy. The more I see a dom, look at the depth that he already has. He, I mean, he turned one. I think it was March 30th that he turned one. And I get to see his brother. He's a twin and his brother is up in Washington. Um, the farm is called Lakeview Acres, I think. Um, I think on YouTube she is Lakeview Dairy Goats. I love her channel. I love it. 
she has like super long videos when she talks about like specifics and i'm that kind of person that i like to do that i like to listen to people talk about something for a really long time and so she has his brother and if you remember when i picked dom i put a picture of his brother who is a hmm coupler i think he's a coupleanc because he's white and then the Cuclair, or his brother, uh, his brother name is um, Americano, Twin Pair Farms, Twin Pair Majestic Americano. And um, he is the opposite, where Dom has the white, the brother has like the, your typical brown color, and he is gorgeous. But I was seeing him with his winter coat and I was thinking, oh my gosh, my little Dom Dom is little compared to his brother. But they live up in Washington State, so they um, get a lot of snow. And <laughs> when they shaved him, I was able to tell that, no, it's just, Americano is not much bigger than Dom. But I love Dom's leg. I like, I love his conformation. And I, I'm kind of loving what I'm seeing that he produced with Gaia. And I, I think that's, that's going to be one of the girls that will be breeding soon. Because she's big enough, wide enough, heavy enough to be bred, you know, sometimes soonish. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why were you skittish for a couple of months? I don't get it, Dom Dom. I swear I don't get it, sweet boy. But I do keep an eye on the boys. And I make sure that everyone gets their own fair share of food. And how I usually do it is if there's a new... Look at the... <laughs> Look. <laughs> what? What the heck is that? It's a Rocky. He is deep undercover. Anyway, what I usually do is when I feed them, I stay out there and I watch them. And if I see that any of them is giving him a hard time, they bully him because he is the youngest. Then I make sure that I either sit, I either sit with him for a little bit until I'm sure he ate something and then spread the food in a couple of corners so when he's hungry again then i can you know i know that if clyde who's clyde ah it's clyde our new buck he's so beautiful but he's such a bully not you though you're a pretty boy and you know that your mama loves you very much he wants to fit in he wants to go with the boys but uh, they all can uh, take care of themselves against Clyde. Clyde is the oldest. He was born in 2020. And my second oldest is Rocky. He was born in 2021 with his brother, Duke. And then, well, they were born 2021, February. Oh, look at Kitty. He's over there. And then Taz was born uh, August 1st, 2021. So they are the older boys against him, who was born last year, who is very handsome, and I'm sure he's going to be able to stand up for himself sometime soon, but not right now. So his mommy is protecting him, making sure he gets all the food he wants and deserves. Yes, his mommy. And same thing when I do pellets, I have to put um, some pellets there, some pellets on the other corner, and that's how I'm managing. Now, this breeding season, I'm going to keep an eye on the boys, just to make sure that uh, there's not real bad fighting happening. Um, Clyde has some kind of uh, fear or respect off people in general not only me but people in general he has warmed up to me there he is he's a very handsome boy but uh he you know if i stand my ground i mean he, 
he doesn't want to hurt me or anything. But if he's being a bully, I will stand up to him and make it stop. And usually that's how I make it stop. But I'm worried about the rut season and my little Dom Dom because he is too sweet. And honestly, I am assuming that this season he's going to go into like full rut. The first year for my buddy over there, uh, Taz, he, um, the first year he was a baby and he was, he, did, he wasn't really into it. Second year, which was the last year, <laughs> he started fighting really bad with Rocky. And now there's four boys that will be full of hormones. So I feel bad for Duke, who's our weather. And it's right there by Rocky. Rocky is losing all of his hair. He has a few chunks there of long hair. And he has a round, yeah, you're my sweet boy. Love you, sweet boy. And, um, but he's going to be shaved, well clipped. Uh, he lost a lot of hair in his legs because he was lacking uh, zinc. But we did a round for weeks of zinc. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got my handsome boy with the sun in the background making him look very cute I have to say that I love Rocky because of his demeanor because he's very sweet because he's very mellow easy to handle I can move him anywhere he'll be amazing on a leash and he is my second mellow sweet boy and um so i you know maybe i'm intervening too much with nature but i feel like the eating part is important i don't want him to get you know skinny or starve because the other one is bullying him and as you can see <laughs> as you can see that's Rocky pretending that he is a bell of hay. What the hell is wrong with you, sir? Oh, no way. No way. And I have to report that Duke loves Clyde. He is almost kind of cheating on his brother because he loves Clyde so much. He rubs on Clyde. And uh, sometimes you'll see them cuddling and sleeping together. Not oh, my dom dom. Oh, my sweet boy. And somebody was asking me if his name is dom dom. No, his name is Twin Pears Majestic Poseidon. And um, I call him Dom. Uh, it's gonna sound weird, but I love his legs. They're so very straight. And look at his width in the front. He's like, is that a treat? Is that a treat for boys? No, no, yellow boy. I'm gonna try, but look, uh, one of the things that is really important is the width, not only in the back, but also the front legs. And he is so wide. And I mean, he is still a baby. Look at his width. Do you think you can, can take care of yourself, sweet boy? I know you're looking at Clyde like, oh, look at Clyde fighting with the dogs. Stop it, sir. Clyde. Oh, hello, Mr. Kitten. You know, Clyde doesn't like kittens either. Apparently, he doesn't like anything. I'm gonna move this over here. Come here, Cielo. Kitty, what are you doing? Clyde, leave him alone. Go away, sir. Go. There he goes, Dom. 
hoping that they're gonna let him go eat with him. And I encourage him to try. But look at that. Look how beautiful Dom looks. <laughs> Here I am, laying down on the pee and the poop. Oh, the pen. Let me try to show you his. Well, he's standing funny, so he can't really see it. And I don't want to bother him now that he found his room at the table. Are you good? Hmm? You're good, Cielo. You be a big boy, okay? And you stand up for yourself. Against bullies. Alright, I think they, they made their peace. But if not, he can always come here and eat his hay. Carrot cake. Look at him being a cute carrot cake. 